Nyx versus Mana Crypt. Uh, I don't get a direct cut from MTGO traders. They send me a they send me a flat rate every month. So people people using that code reminds them that I'm worth sending that flat rate to. That's okay. Needs a show and tell. Doesn't have any interaction for other combo decks, but we've got a bunch of cantrips and some lands, so we're definitely not gonna mulligan. Probably lead on a ponder here on one. God, these impulses are ugly. Uh, they do not provide pu public rental services. Can I send you a flat rate to pay with those servers? You cannot. This is against the Magic Online TOS. Elves? Yeah, it looks like elves. All right, looking for show and tell and omniscience. Cunning wish. I think I'm just shuffling these because none of them are show and tell or omniscience. Keep the drive sane. Props. Howdy. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Good to hear you just listen and not watch while you drive. Welcome. Welcome to a live show. I have more than enough land, so we're going to brainstorm to try and throw some of these back. I know this matchup is. It's probably pretty close. I guess Cunning Wish for Kozilex Return is probably pretty good here, right? Did I discuss the Twin Blade? Yeah, deck's sweet. I don't know. Feels powerful. Force is decent. This Besageu doesn't do anything. I'm going to throw these two back. Play this out past the turn. Probably grab a Valkyr. So that way, if I end up finding a... If I end up finding a thing, I can do what's it called? I can I can cause let's return them. We just need to not die to their anemic beats here. Am I brainstorming at end step? I think I'm gonna brainstorm at end step because I can upkeep impulse past the cards I put back. Which seems reasonable. I could also possibly, like, hit enough cards to kill them next turn. Which seems fine. So I'll grab a Valk, Brainstorm, and then Upkeep Impulse if we miss on, like, Show and Tell plus Omniscience. Green attack for two here, down to 17. I have a force of will, can pitch the misdirection to cover any combo kills out of them. So it looks like we're doing okay here. They're not killing us for a few turns. All right, there's the Omniscience. Flusterstorm's probably not good enough at this point. I really don't need a fetch land though, right? Especially not if I'm impulsing past this. I guess if I draw another cantrip, that would probably be useful. So maybe I don't want the Ancient Tomb. I'll throw back Fluster Storm Impulse. I guess the extra Impulse might be useful. Or the Fluster Storm might be useful to counter like a natural order. But they probably are going to have enough mana to just get past them. I'm just going to throw these back. And then I'm going to upkeep, upkeep Impulse here. So I don't have to draw those. Wow, that's bad. All right, well, I guess we're taking the Fluster Storm anyways. Glad to clear those away, I suppose. City of Traders, sure. You know, it's funny. Um, I almost made this a, a fun of Dream Halls. I almost made this a fun of Dream Halls, and then I was like, nah, I'll try Misdirection tonight. And if th that was Dream Halls, we'd actually be able to play Dream Halls next turn and then cast Omniscience, cast Emrakul. Are we dead in? We're not dead in two, right? All right, so we get to we'll take a draw plus we get to impulse. So we're just looking for a show and tell at this point. Cunning wish, that doesn't quite do it, right? 
my dead next turn, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think we're dead next turn. All right, show and tell, please. God, that's unfortunate. Oh. oh, am I just dead next turn anyways? This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just dead, right? I need to hit a show and tell on my top 30 cards or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this, this activates twice, and they can replay this because they return it. God, that feels miserable to lose. It's really unfortunate. Is the fifth card down? Nope. Wow. Um, I really don't have anything to board in here, right? I guess I guess I could board in the ley lines over the fluster storms because they. Pro I guess misdirection is pretty awful, right? It's like actually it just pitches to force. Doesn't really do anything. So I'll bring in Talrand because that also pitches to force. It's like it's an alternate win con. They probably have surgical in their deck. I think I'll just do that. I don't think I'm bringing this into play around discard because like fluster storm can counter discard as well. It feels really bad to lose. I think having played this from the elves side, this matchup's usually pretty bad for the elves deck, but. You know, sometimes you just, like, don't find... You don't find your show-and-tell in the top 30 cards like we did there. And again, like, maybe this misdirection could be a Dream Halls. Like, if that had been Dream Halls, we'd have, we'd have won the game there. We'd have been able to floop Omniscience into play and then kill them. Howdy, Dingo. Good evening. Dingo ate my baby. Yeah, yeah, we were mana short of getting Kozilek's return. That is, that is correct. It's fine. Like, not exciting, but fine. Mana cantrips, hard to pass up. Remember, if we find something we're looking for with this Ponder, we want to leave it on top of our deck in the event they have turn one discard. Uh, I don't really want any of those cards. Intuition's okay. It's like a blue demonic shooter, but it's slow. And we don't have any of our other combo pieces just yet. I guess Cunning Wish is kind of a combo piece. Do I just... Oh, that... Yeah, now, now I just pass, right? Since we hit the Om Omniscience, I get to just uh, Intuition for Show and Tell, and then Show and Tell in the Omniscience and Cast Cunning Wish. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's unfortunate. Hey, found my credit card. All is well in the world. Thanks for the resub, Dingo. Four months. Welcome back. A third of a year. I appreciate the continued support. Yep. Take my demonic tutor. I'm just waiting on this cunning wish now. Like it, it might want to be Kozilek's return. It might want to be something else. Not actually sure. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna fetch a Valk here because if I bottom cards with Preordain, I would prefer to leave them on the bottom. And if we hit a show and tell here, we uh, we kill them. Any order, shuffle those. Huh, Flusterstorm. Storm. 
think I want to just pass now, right? We just cannot find show and tells to save our lives tonight. Fine, tonight's still young. Z Knight is young. Visionary. Vision is scary. Hey, Mike VT, that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I appreciate that. As always, subs are the best way you can support what I do here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We get uh, four shots at a show until next turn. We get a draw step plus a preordain. If our draw step is a land, the preordain can find other can trips for redraws, which is nice. I don't think I'm supposed to go get K return here. Come on. I think I'm just supposed to try and find it. All right, we found Force of Will. I'm gonna hide the show until I think. That convinced me to play Poop Bears in Cincinnati. Yeah, five, four or $5,000 so I can bribe the other guys on my team to let me play it too. <laughs> Lots, large amounts of money. I'm not gonna tell you no, there isn't an amount of money I do something for because there's there's always an amount. Yay, please be dead. Did I stack this right? Please tell me I stack this right. God bless. I stack I stack my brainstorms wrong so often on Magic Online. It's kind of unreasonable. So for those that are wondering what Firemind's Foresight is in our deck for, it's in there for this. So we cast Firemind's Foresight. This gets us intuition, it gets us impulse, it gets us a brainstorm, and then intuition gets us emercools. Yep, cast emercool, take an extra turn, kill them. All right, I think on the draw, I want, I want these ley lines of sanctity. Just gonna cut, cut my boy tail range here. That's fine. Maybe I don't need Emercools. Maybe I'd rather have less Emercools. Nah, just casting Emercool, getting Emercool earlier is good in this matchup because they're putting pressure on us. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna cut the flusters in the tail end. I think this was plenty. This deck never short on cards to pitch to Force of All, which is nice because it's just like mono blue cards. But, but Randy, Randy's gonna come in in other places, I promise. I promise. Is this deck expensive? Um, yes. It's a le it's a legacy deck, so yes. Oh, you know what? I probably could have boarded out the Besage you, right? The sand is super reasonable. Uh, this can get intuition, which can get a show and tell, which can let us do this. So. We have a line, we just need to... The Ancient Tomb dealing a bit of damage to ourselves could hurt us in this. If they have just a fast Elves draw, we could be in trouble here. I guess if they have a fast Elves draw... I can just get Kozilek's return next turn, potentially. Depending on how wide they go. So I'll just wait to fetch here. I'm going to need to fetch and then use Ancient Tomb twice, so I'm going to deal five to myself. Hmm. I think I want to just leave my, my myself the ability to get Kozilek's return here, so I'm just going to do this and pass. 
We could die this turn. Sweet. Yeah, I think, I think Delph matchup is good for this deck. Uh, we didn't play Delver, but uh, they all, they're they uploading and processing to YouTube now. I'll publish them after, uh, after I go to bed tonight or after we sign off. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to Cutting Witch for a K return. I think Cunning Wish for Counter Spell is really slow. I'm getting something that costs two here. Is this Godak Teague? Smells like Godak Teague, right? That's fine. We don't care about that. Godak Teague's actually not very good against us. We're not Sneak and Show. I'm trying to think. Is there any two drop I care about here? I'm sure there is, and they're about to go get it. Oh, just a Visionary Sweep. Okay, well, their board's gone. So... The uh, red splash putting in its work tonight. It's like a sweet addition. Cast this brainstorm just in case we had a show and tell. And we did hit a show and tell. All right. Well, put that back. Put that back. Lost a close game one. These two seem to be pretty solidly in our favor. Crop rotation, sure. Are they getting Emrakul or Crocus? That doesn't matter, right? Because we cast, we cast the Emrakul. Yeah, Crocus doesn't matter. It's one of the upsides of playing this version of this deck because we need to actually take an extra turn with our Emrakul. Did two different ways. Okay, quick, quick two one to start the night. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone that's hanging out here tonight, playing some Legacy this evening. If you're enjoying what you see, welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I play Magic on this channel four to five days a week. Uh, please make sure you hit that follow button if you're new and you like what you see. Um, if you want to support my content past that, the absolute best way you can do is by subscribing on Twitch. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors, mtgotraders.com. We'd love to buy and sell Magic Online cards with you. If you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Uh, coolstuffinc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code JEFF5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Uh, InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code JEFF12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix and you. Anorox would like to remind you to hit that follow button if you enjoy what you're seeing. We're off to a 1-0 start with Mono, with Blue Splash Red Omni Show, and uh, I think that's hands keepable. It's got Brainstorm and Flusterstorm. It's got one of our combo pieces in it. We'll see, see where we go from there. We've got some fast mana. We've got a cantrip, so... Hands Dece. Get the Randy when it's as good as cashing the league. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree, Pokemoki. It was better before Omniscience, but with with Omniscience, it's just not good. His land is your land, his land is my land. Do 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 
Show and tell. Show and tell. Show and tell. When you play paper, do you prefer to play without foreigns and foils reasoning? I really prefer to play without for without foreigns and foils, yeah, actually. I just like to I like to know what my cards do. I like my opponents to be able to know what my cards do without calling a judge. I think foils give you an extra ability to have your cards be marked and just like having that extra th thing on top of playing magic just sounds like unnecessary. So in general, I like to play with English non-foil cards. Could be some kind of combo mirror, could be a fair deck, could be could be miracles, could be Delver. Probably not Delver, they haven't done anything yet, but could be could be a combo mirror, could be a could be a control deck. It's either of those things, this fluster storm will be pretty good. Okay, could be Delver if they're doing something this turn, could be Storm as well. I mean, saying we really know have a realistic prediction of like what my opponent has before they play a spell here is is a disingenuous. Like they could still be a variety of different cards at this point. Uh, I'm really on brainstorm here. Let's see what we hit. It's actually pretty good, right? So they're probably they're probably playing something fair if they have collective brutality in their deck, right? So I'm going to throw these two Omniscients on top of my deck and then cast this Flusterstorm, I think. Yeah, Mike the Knight. It's a stream joke thing. It's a stream joke thing. You hang around long enough, it's the cost to make him play a league. Yep. I'm going to fetch an Island here just because I might not need the red... Feel like I want to just fluster this. Just like keep them out of my hand. Just like keep my cunning wish. This direction, that one's not bad. Looking for show and tell. Any order, shuffle those. Okay, uh, we can end step cunning wish for intuition. We can also misdirect a discard spell back at them, which is nice. Get the good old clean two for two. Left my bottle of water upstairs, that's so sad. I'd probably run up and grab that after this league, it's been a little while. Been talking for a bit. They are kind of turbo depth stack. Okay, interesting. Um, so, a little cunning wish for demonic shooter. I'm just going to shuffle these. There we go. There we go. I can beat one counter spell here since I have this misdirection. This is Mamercool. Mamercool's pretty cool. Bet your 2020 is worse than my 1515. My 1515 comes with an extra turn. Kills all your stuff. Deece. Okay, right, so here's an interesting question. Is this a Leyline matchup or is this a Besage matchup? I feel like it's a Leyline matchup, right? 
My gut, my gut says it's a ley line matchup. Do we think they're a counterspell deck or a discard deck? It feels like they're probably a discard deck, right? They could have a mix of the two. I could have a mix of the two. I kind of want to just cut the flusters and the besages for like, I feel like this, this is like my swap package, right? Like my anti counter package for my anti, my anti discard package. this a try maybe i want the talrand for uh surgical purposes i don't know misdirection is pretty good against discard spells which is nice i'm just gonna run it like this and see how it goes Talrin does make blockers for the 2020. You're not wrong. Huh. Gets through uh gets through stuff too. Um I don't want to cut one Emmer cool. I cut a probe. I wanna cut German intuition. Yeah, I'll German intuition. Let's just do that. I guess I could cut the misdirection too. I don't know. I feel like misdirection might be better than force in this matchup. Yeah, that's the case. Just leave it like that. I'll do that. We don't know exactly what the opponent's doing. They're playing a bit of a brew. Opponent boarded up to 61, it looks like. The sand is great. Uh, show and telling an Emrakul directly isn't particularly good against a deck that likely has access to Caracas, but we have some cantrips to hopefully find that omniscience. But Sifle will be nice as a way to... No, I don't think so. I think that's kind of expensive. Like, remember, like, you have to think of... When, when you're thinking of effects in the Wish sideboard, you have to think to yourself, like, is this an effect that I'm willing to pay plus three mana for? And the answer to that question is often no. Like, I'm not, I'm not willing to pay plus three mana for whatever effect that you're talking about. That's, that's decent. So we're looking for an omniscience here. Grab a basic island just in case they have wastelands in their land stack or ghost quarters or something weird. I also just like probably don't need red mana here. I go bottom, bottom here. And Storm's okay. You can maybe make an argument for keeping the fetch land there since I don't really have a sec since I don't have a second land that I really want to play next turn, but could go either way. Bye. So I wonder if they have counter spells or if they have discard spells they just can't cast because of Leyline. One of those two things is likely. Oh, there's an Omniscience. So... I'm going to leave the Omniscience on top of my deck just in case they... Uh, What's the word I'm searching for? Just in case they like kill this, then untap and have a discard spell, they can't take it away. I have two show and tells. Well, I guess I have a brainstorm to protect it potentially. I know if there's gonna be like brainstorm crop rotation to shuffle the brainstorm, that would be kind of funny. And I get to kind of play through counter magic. I wonder if I'm supposed to draw the land there so I could just go basic island cast show and tell next turn yeah that's probably what i was supposed to do playing the city of traders next turn is kind of awkward yeah I'm, I'm just gonna jam the show and tell next turn 10 out of 10 if they have a counter spell i just like have another show and tell the turn after Is 
Enter. So they need a force or a daze here. Start my next turn, kill your board. I know an interim brainstorm is terrible, but is there an argument that if you didn't know your next card and they wastelanded, you might do it? Yeah, maybe if I didn't know my next card, but like, I don't know, that seems like a weird hypothetical. Like, pretty much know my next card. So we're going to shuffle these. We're just looking for a way to get another Emrakul so we can kill them before they take another turn. So if we would have found a Cunning Wish or another Emrakul, we would have just cast an Emrakul and killed them. All right, quick 2-0 start here. Isn't, see, I don't know. I kind of, like, the Stoneblade deck we just played felt really good and powerful and consistent, but, like... You have to work for every win with that deck. Even even the good matchups are a slog. And like this deck, you just get to go burp, derp, kill you. And it's like, all right, seems sweet. What's going on, Gator? We played uh, Jeskai Blade, and then we've play, we're playing this now. I think we're going to try the Blue-Red Delver deck after this. Yeah, they could not cast Diabolic Edict. You're not wrong. Pretty easy redraw here. Hearthstone hand. No, no resources. Seems fine. Could be really good if they're on a blue deck. I'm gonna bottom another cantrip here. It's like looking for show and tells and lands. Yeah, we're planning to go to Cincinnati, Brad. Weather, weather permitting. Hopefully in three weeks we'll be clear of snow at all, all parts. We have Fluster Storm here too, in case they're playing an unfair deck and don't kill us on one. Sweet, they probe me so I can't auto pass. I demand more, Randy. I was gonna go get some water. I forgot. All right, after this one, after this match, we're gonna grab a bottle of water. Yeah, that sounds miserable. I asked because my red dot is now a green dot thingy. Your subscriber icon changes automatically based on the duration you've been here, Gator. So different, different hex shards based on the duration that people have been subscribed. Yeah, I think I've been pretty happy without the Lotus Petals in the deck, if we're being honest. You just like to get to play more cantrips. You're like slightly slower, but more consistent. All right, so Probe C kind of makes me just want to go Misty Pass here. Kind of makes me just want to go Misty Pass. Just like hold this Fluster Storm up. All right, they're playing Delver. Sounds good. They don't have another land, that's good for us. All right, so fetch basic island here. I guess I could have waited to fetch, doesn't really matter. That's a green light to uh, just start digging though. Oh, well that's perfect. Top, top there. Play this, if we don't get wastelanded, we get to do this next turn. And they didn't play a land last turn. Okay, they get to ponder, though. And they might have drawn a land for the turn since they didn't flip the Delver Secrets. But if they don't have a Stifle for this Delta, or they don't have a Wasteland for the Besage, we get to cast Show and Tell and put it on missions. And then we get to uh, start casting Cantrips looking for Emrakul. Yeah, a lot of these Grixis decks aren't playing Stifle. Which is nice as a combo deck. Stifle's really bad against most of the fair decks in the format, but 
It's not good against the... It's good, it's, 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 it's good against the combo decks, but it's not good against the fair decks. Watch out for Spellqueller. Oh no, not a young Pyromancer. Right, we get a lot of looks here, because we can just chain a bunch of cantrips together now, because they're all free. What are this deck bad matchups? I don't know. I haven't played enough to know what the bad matchups are. All right, cool. Sounds good. Yeah, I think I'm going to try. I actually have a list loaded that I was thinking about trying, but your donation gave me the push to go ahead and do it tonight. So they try and counter this. I'm going to fluster storm them. I'd like my cantrip to resolve, please. I mean, like, there's a world where we brick off here, right? Or, like, they have a force or a daze. I guess if they had... Well, they couldn't have countered this, right? So they could still have force and daze. Like, if they counter this, counter this, they could pressure us out of the game. Infect's not particularly popular. Like, decks with disruption and a fast clock are, like, generally good against combo decks, right? All right if this resolves, they should just be on empty. We'll see, though. They could have more. Because, like I said, they, they didn't have the option to counter the show and tell. Yep, they have a force. This is smart on their part. All right, so hopefully that means they're out and this preordain ends up getting there. So cunning wish, Emmer cool. Those are the cards we're looking for. Yep, we could break off. We could break off. Yep. All right, uh, go. That's unfortunate. I'm just going to force this. They clearly don't have another counter spell. They could have something like a spell pierce, but they don't have another soft counter, so I just want to stop them from setting up their Delver here, taking enough damage as is. We have a ton of live draws here, but we could brick off. Maybe I was supposed to bottom this show and tell. Never mind. Meet my friend. She's angry. That's fair, Pewit. That's good. Good constructive comment. The worst matchup is anywhere show and tell hides the bottom of her deck. Ain't that the truth? No, it's on Sensei's Divining Top is a miserable magic card. Please never make it legal again. They actually pitched a Stifle to their to their Force of Will, so they are actually playing Stifle Grixis, which is good to know. Magic as Garfield intended. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, this deck's definitely good against elves. We actually played elves in the first round first round of this league. Demolish them pretty handily. So they can keep their Delver and their Pyromancer, but then, like, they're not going to kill me next turn, right? Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to counter that. Keep my health total high. So they're going to one here, so they're going to sack this and these four and then one other thing. But we're still at 10, which is nice, and they don't have any cards in hand, so I believe by countering that we're good. They could have flipped to a Lightning Bolt to kill us, but since we countered their Bolt, they couldn't anymore. Um, this is definitely a Besage you matchup. Intuition is probably a little bit slow. Talrand's probably fine here. They bring in a lot of counters like Flusterstorm and stuff that can't counter Talrand. Only that forces a misdirection, right? How do we feel about that? Just like cutting intuition and like bringing in Besaju and Talrand, just like leaning on my cantrips. I guess Cataxian Probe is maybe a little bit worse because it like pressures our health total. God, this thing is running so slow. How much RAM are we at, Magic Online? Magic Online is currently using almost two gigabytes of RAM, so probably need to restart it after this. It's like a Prelate on three hurts this deck a lot. Yeah, it's almost most certainly, Red. But uh, pretty much anything else you can play through. It's just like, you mean Demonic Tutor? It's it's Demonic Tutor, but it's just like slow Demonic Tutor, right? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut an Intuition and a Probe and bring in Talrand and Besage you. It does not combine with player rewards on the site. So you can't, can't double stack the rewards, unfortunately.
Skin's probably fine. It's got like one of my combo pieces. It's got plenty of lands in it to play through wastelands. It's got an Emrakul, so. Get to cast Talran pretty quickly. Opponent tanked there. If opponent goes just pass on one with a mana up, I'm going to play Volcanic Island to ponder. If they tap out, I'm going to fetch a basic island. Just want to play around Stifle as well as possible. One thing to keep in mind is that Stifle on our Emrakul extra turn trigger is a thing that could happen. So ideally, if we, like, that could put us in a spot where we could lose the game, we want to try and avoid having that happen. Just like something to think about when we're playing to outs in the late game after they've pressured us a little bit. Death Ray Gem resolves. Oh, I'm I'm sure almost certain Channel Fireball wants nothing to do with me. Like Channel Fireball and the people that run it are like deep in bed with Wizards of the Coast. That's why they run their Grand Prix. And like Wizards of the Coast almost certainly wants no association with me. Let's be honest, I'm surprised I'm still allowed to play Magic the Gathering. Uh, none of these are show and tell or omniscient, so we're just gonna shuffle those and try again. Second Emrakul. That's exactly what we were looking for. You should. If, and if you're if you're wondering why I would say that, why Wizards of the Coast wants no association with me, you should go read through my Twitter timeline, giving feedback on the Magic Online Championship today. You should, you should go read my Twitter timeline. I give, let's call it, uh, brutally honest feedback. What is this? Painful truths. Okay, cute. And again, I'm just going to fetch around Wasteland and Stifle here. Painful Truth is pretty scary. Just straight up draw three. What are you attacking me with a death ray shaman? Okay, sure. Are they not have a land. Whoa, they don't have a land. Okay, it's decent for us. Um. Brainstorm's great. That makes me kind of sad that I've burned my fetch lands already. I guess I can do what we did in the other game and then brainstorm and then impulse past the cards that we brainstormed. Seems fine. They might pyroblast this if they have it. I don't know. If they had pyroblast, I probably would have used it on my, my impulse, but, you know, it's tough to know on Magic Online. People just, just do whatever they shoot from the hip. Was this a spell pierce? Maybe I should have played my land out. It feels a little bit bad. I'm going to play this Valk to encourage them to wasteland this instead of a Besage you later. I banned that pers person preemptively before they got to the but derp derp MTGHQ did nothing wrong. 
He did nothing wrong. It was the people he was being mean to that were wrong. That was someone getting ready to defend a giant jackass. This is this is the flip side of this deck, right? Like we were firing on all cylinders for those last two, and we're kinda kinda just getting beat up here. Okay, just getting beat up. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Was there someone other than HQ that got banned? Because H HQ got his comeuppance, you know? Be a dick, get banned, private. Don't compare those poor things, yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I added that. I had my buddy that made the frame for his, like, this is a good suggestion. We should do that. It's a great casting cost. It looked a little bit, the card frame looked a little bit empty too. That's good. They, they can and should clean people out of their games that they don't want around. If they if they don't want me around, they can and should ban me from their game. That they, That is within their right to do as a private organization. There's just like 0% that this resolves, right? But there's no way I'm just like... We're, we're on a pretty quick clock here. These are killing us in like three turns, so. I don't know. I think it's good from the perspective of you're setting the tone of what you expect out of out of people that want to play your game. Like it doesn't prevent them from buying magic cards. Like that guy's still making YouTube channels about magic cards and games, right? Like it just says they're not welcome at the competitive events, basically. And like if you look at like someone posted uh HQ's like competitive DCI tournament history, he doesn't actually play in tournaments. So like him getting DCI banned is just like extremely symbolic and nothing else. They have five cards, zero, zero percent. They're gonna drain, drain, untap, drain, drain, dead. Let's try it again here. Second verse, same as the first, a little bit louder and a whole lot worse. Will Twitch or Amazon notify me when I need to resub or will I have to check it manually? Um, it sh If you're on Twitch Prime, it won't notify you. That, that's not okay so this is this is the funny part this is the funny part and this is this is again M wizards of the coast turning a blind eye did you know that the the magic online terms of service says you are not allowed to exchange digital objects for real currency it is it is against the magic online terms of service to buy and sell magic online cards now I'm not saying Wizards of the Coast enforces that because obviously they don't, right? Like one of my sponsors, MTGO Traders, um, Card Hoarder, like all these different places, they have like entire businesses built on buying and selling these digital objects. But like saying they didn't give someone a chance to do this thing that's against the terms of service is like comical to me. Why, why, why aren't you giving me a chance to do the thing that's against the terms of service in the first place? Uh, I wonder if that'll hold up in a court of law. And I'm not a lawyer, maybe maybe it would. I have no idea. I'm just saying, like, I find that that statement or that defense amusing, right? Not to mention that we don't own any of these cards, right? We're paying for permission to use their use their space.
A booster isn't gambling, right? So do I want this land? I feel like I don't. I feel like I already have this Fluster Storm and this Omniscience. I'm just like digging for show and tells, right? Besage use a great draw. It's a good one too. Sure. Sure, it might be. But again, just like gets to cover their ass in all situations, right? Delverino is scary. I'm gonna play this Besage you out, and I think I'm just gonna pass the turn. Hey, Gator. Thanks for re-upping the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. There's your three-month badge. Welcome back. Oh, you know what? I should put a stop on there. In case they have a flip through a counter spell. Uh, just Google MTGHQ. There's a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. Let's we should we should get off that topic. So I have this Fluster Storm to protect myself from a discard spell this turn. I think I'm going to Brainstorm at their end step, so that way if I hit Show and Tell, I can cast it next turn. All right, I'm going to Brainstorm in response to this, so that way if they want to... Mm, that feels pretty bad. The City of Traders is actually okay. So I'm going to have to redraw... I have to redraw one of these cards... I guess I don't, right? I could put back two and then impulse past them like we have been. I don't feel about that. I kind of don't mind that. Although I guess I just want to in intuition for show and tells. I probably want to redraw this. I probably don't want Randy actually. I think I think Randall is the one I don't want. Yeah, I think Randall is the one I don't want. So we'll, we'll redraw the city. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this and crack it now so I can't get stifled. So what people don't understand is Wizards of the Coast banning something has nothing to do with free speech. They're a private organization. They could literally say, you know, like... You're an idiot, I can ban you. It's just like me banning you in chat. Like I can ban people in chat for ac actually any reason I feel like it. There's no there's no due process. There's no first amendment. This is just a random Twitch channel. I can do what I want. Hey, Eve, keep up the good memes. I mean streams. Think they could be both, right? Thanks for the three month resubscription. Thanks for sending your Amazon fun money this way again this month. Cover your hand because the opponent can see it. How do you know that? I'm a freeze peach. So they have a stifle in hand, so I'm glad we fetched around that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do literally anything. That, that's good for us. Okay, so they can't counter this intuition, and they're not going to be able to counter the show until next turn. I guess they could surgically extract us here. But I'm not playing around that. They have enough pressure on the table that we need to just hit hit this turn. So do I want to play this city? Yeah, probably. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Free speech just means you won't be jailed for the things you say. It doesn't mean other people won't tell you you're an idiot. Can't be countered. Yep. Days resolves.
the old moto check and they're just making they're just making elementals right oh they're this is smart on their part they're untapping their island so they can cast stifle it's a good line from the opponent so they get to put their Volk back into play here. Which could also let them Fluster Storm potentially too. We know they have Stifle though. Alright, so Ponder is my best one here. Again, we're just can tripping. Can tripping our way to an Emrakul or a Cunning Wish here ideally. I mean, if they can see my hand, they should know they're pretty fucked with this Fluster Storm, right? They should know I'm going to get to see like seven cards here, which is going to find me more cantrips or more ways to find stuff. So, hopefully, they realize they should just concede if they're looking at my hand. I guess their last card is Force, so they have a Stifle and then one of their cards. If their last card is Force, we're dead here. How's the night gone so far? Okay, we 4 one with, uh, we 4 one with Stoneblade and we're 2-0 in this league. This is game three here. This could go either way. We're pretty likely to hit with this Brainstorm, but... We could miss, I suppose, too. Get three more looks. We did brick on four looks with the ponder, so. Cunning Wish should mean we win the game. Uh, Emrakul is... Emrakul might be short, actually. Yeah, Emrakul, they still have almost... They almost have lethal on the table. As a rule of thumb, when should you focus on mana efficiency versus card efficiency? That's such a complex question. There isn't really, like, rule of thumb type situations for it. Wow, they had forced blue card. All right, well, that's unfortunate. We're gonna draw one, two, and we're gonna impulse, and we're gonna impulse into the Emrakul. All right, well, that feels bad. Opponent played that well. They got to pick this back up, and if they were looking at our hand the whole time, you know, more power to them, I guess, if they were ghosting like someone in chat said they were. People playing Legacy like to ghost a lot. It happens a ton in this format. It's a big part of why we don't stream it as much. Well, we're two and one now. It's a close game. They needed water. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna run and grab a bottle of water. I'll be right back. Moto oh, dirt nap. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna leave the deck up. I'll restart it when I get back. Get the fuck out of here. Someone someone came in here in chat, said the opponent was ghosting. Said they were sitting there watching them ghost or talking to them go while they were ghosting. I didn't just say that because I lost. Fuck off. Get out of here. Just 
German Space Ace with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. Thanks for sending your Amazon fun money this way this month. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's having a good Friday night. Hey, Reich Boss. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. No, I haven't set up nice background. I'm streaming from Windows for as of like Monday, so. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't think, sh for the record, I would like to set this aside. We are playing a children's card game for fun points on the internet. I don't think it's immoral or makes you a fundamentally bad person if you ghost my stream. I think it probably makes you a dick, but like it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like you're not a bad person if you ghost somebody. Like if you really care about the fun points, go ahead and ghost. I don't care. Well thank you, Reich Boss. Cheers, I appreciate that. Here's a cupcake for Christy. Thanks for the big cuter. A ghost is when someone is watching the stream while they're playing. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, like, that, that happens in that purpose of personal times. It's not like you can pre-board against me. I'll never forget I was playing Kiki Chord in uh, a modern classic. It was, like, round two or round three, and I sit down against my opponent... And on turn two, they play a Graft Diggers cage in game one. And I just, I just snap call the judge. And I was like, they just played a sideboard card against me in game one. And the judge was like, the judge was like, what? I was like, can you just check their deck list? And sure as shit, they had a, they had a Graft Diggers cage pre-boarded because they knew, they knew I was playing Kiki Cord. Yeah, yeah, and like there's some delay when streaming, right? But like there's there's enough clock that a lot of time if you're watching someone stream, you can like know what cards they have in their hand at most given points when you're making decisions. <clears throat> Did you draw too many kikis? Usually when you do poorly, it's because you do too many kikis. That damn uncastable goblin. Uh, the judge gave him a game loss for being pre-boarded. Mass with the Through the Breach. So the Through the Breach is in the sideboard to floop, floop Emmercool into play. Uh, the opponent claimed it was accidental. The opponent claimed it was accidental. And, like, it's hard to prove intent, right? That's, you know, it's fine. I won the match. It's whatever. It's okay. Like, not fantastic, but fine. It's got a force. It's got a land. It's got a cantrip. It's like the things we're looking for. We're going to force this Chalice of the Void. Grim Monolith. That one's fine. That one is not. Am I pitching intuition here? I think so. <clears throat> I actually have a 4K. Uh, this technically isn't. What, what does 4K classify as? I have a 1440 monitor. So this is tough. I really want the show and tell, but I need lands, right? I need lands. Okay. 
Who would shuffle here? I feel like I'm supposed to shuffle. Oh, it's four, four, 1080. Okay. I had three 1080s at one point, but I upgraded. So I have, I have two 1080s on either. I can show you my monitors, actually. My monitors are great. I actually really like my monitor setup. You can see my dirty house, too. I've got a 1080 there, a 1440 in the middle, and another 1080 over there. Okay, I, think, I think we're supposed to shuffle here. Yeah, I, I could be greedy and, like, take these and, like, hit the next one, but I think I'm just supposed to any order these. That, that feels really bad. I also, like, wouldn't mind having a force here, either. Yeah, I had three I had three matching 1080 screens and then my brother gave me a deal and sold me this uh this 1440 monitor that I have in the middle for like a hundred bucks. So it was kinda hard to pass that up. This matchup's probably bad, especially when we, we don't draw lands. I think I'm just gonna concede to a thought not here. Oh, they're just playing mana, so. As long as they're just playing mana, we'll hang out. All right, Force is actually a pretty good draw, right? It's castable. Oh, my cords are a hot mess. The, the cords in my, my thing, you don't wanna look at, you don't wanna look at these, these are. These are just fucking terrible. There's just everything back in here. My desk is just wide, and there's just like a big, big old rat's nest back there. It's not too tangled. So I don't have that many things, but it's not. It's not pretty. They have a chalice of the void on one. That's why I'm not casting my one mana spells for those asking. Uh, I really don't have an opinion on Masters Twenty Five. I don't play limited, and I. Uh, don't own magic cards. Can I just draw a land, please? All right, there's the show and tell. If we find a second land, we could probably impulse into a third land, which is nice. Uh, Uplift is the company that my desk is from. If we find an ancient tomb, we actually just get to get them, right? So it's like... Who, who, who finds what first? Do they find a threat I can't force, or do I find an ancient tomb? Yeah, I know. I should technically wait, but, like, Flusterstorm just doesn't actually do anything against their deck. It's like a Chalice of the Void for three. That'd be pretty smart. Yeah, all right. Gotta force that one. Ancient Tomb. Even even just an island would be good so we could impulse. This is really unfortunate. No, the storm the storm count copies still resolve, but they don't have instants and sorceries in their deck. God, they found a fucking Emrakul or a fucking Thought Not Seer. That probably means we're out of this. I used to own magic cards. I used to own magic cards once upon a time. Then I stopped playing paper. When I started playing competitively, I started owning less. All right, we're done here. That's, I guess they got a little unlucky too, but just like, where the fuck are all of our lands? Holy shit. <sighs> All right, so this is fine. I think I just want this Besage you in my deck as a land. Um, Flusterstorm doesn't do anything. Just like literally doesn't have a text box. Yeah, the paper streams were mostly with magic cards printed off my uh, printed off my computer. I'm gonna board this Echoing Truth in. Inside. Or maybe I'll board the Abrade in and leave the Echoing Truth in the board. Yeah, that's probably what I'd rather do. All right, give it a go. Uh, I haven't played live events for a long time. I'm actually going to be playing the team event in Cincinnati next month, but 
It's been it's been a while since I played a live tournament. Uh, the what's in, what am I doing? Um, the Invitational last year oh, misdirection doesn't do anything either. That should have gotten boarded out. Actually, I'm gonna do this now just in case they have a chalice and I can't cast it later. Ancient tomb, Trinisphere. All right. Well, if they don't hit. If they don't hit mana here, they're in a little bit of trouble, maybe. Turnus will be a little annoying, but I already have three lands in hand, so that's nice. They can make a token at my end of turn. And then untap in Trinisphere. Omniscience is pretty good, right? I'm going to draw the Brainstorm here. I'm just going to hold on to the Ponder for now. And then next turn we can put Omniscience into play. They do have a player page. I used to play a ton of SCG events. Used to play a bunch of SCG events. Huh. I guess this show and tell Omniscience plan actually isn't very good if they have Trinisphere, right? I'm gonna get Thought Knots here next turn. I shouldn't have played that land. Playing that land was wrong. Yeah, Warping Whale can counter sorceries. That is correct. Just gonna pass here. They kept a one lander. That's so annoying. Um, maybe I'm supposed to brainstorm and hide Talrand. Yeah, I should have brainstormed to hide Talrand. That's the card I actually want here. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. All right, so... We have Ulamog, so I can't really show and tell. Although, I guess they have to put in Trinisphere, right? Because if they, if they put in Ulamog, then I just get to kill them with the Cunning Wish. Well, I guess they get to take one of my cards here, too. But if they don't take Talrand, I'm just going to cast Talrand. I think I'm actually okay not brainstorming here. Yeah, they took my Omniscience. That's fine. Drawing lands. I just actually have drawn a land every turn of the game. Their hand is Emmercool, the Promised End, Trinisphere, Trinisphere, Ulamog, Warping Whale. And then one card I don't know. And they have to play a Trinisphere here, right? Feels like they have to play a Trinisphere here. So, if they don't draw another soul land here, we can Cunning Wish for Echoing Truth, right? Echoing Truth is still on my board. I left that one in there. Yeah. And then we can Echoing Truth, pick up the Trinospheres, and then uh, make a bunch of drakes on my turn. A 
really interesting. We win the race if we show in Emmercool. We do, don't we? Is that the case? I feel like I just don't want to have something random happen. Like they could have like a Caracas or something and like pick the Emrakul back up and then I lose. Well now, well no, cause they'll just, yeah, they'll just put it back in off of show and tell. All right, let's just do this. So I think I'm winning the game with the Drakes, right? Feels like I'm winning the game. It's an ancient tomb. Ancient tomb's not the worst. I guess I can force something next turn now. Probably pitch this omniscience. Well, they have Emmercool, the promise, dead in their hand. Yeah, Trinisphere trumps all. Trinisphere beats Omniscience. If your question is, does X beat Trinisphere? The answer is based generally no. I'm just going to hide these cantrips for now, right? Also, um, I, I might have Brecken Sky said I get a, I'm going to get a $20 donation if I win a game with Talran. So. This is a $20 game of magic we're playing right now. I might, I might currently be playing a $20 game of magic. <laughs> uh, they have they have two Trinisters in their hand. Their hand is Emrakul, the Promised End, Trinisphere, Trinisphere, Ulamog, Warping Whale currently. Oh, they also have a Warping Whale, chat. They have a Warping Whale, although I guess they didn't have it up for a turn. So next turn, they're going to get to cast Ulamog, right? This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's short still, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let me tell you about my Drake's opponent. Oh, they're gonna get to, they're gonna get to end step, make a one one, right? They're gonna get to end step, make a one one. Yep. Impulse is fine, right? Let me cast another spell. No, I'll just force the Ulamog, right? I'll just force the Ulamog. No, they have a Trinisphere in their hand. If I, if they put in Trinisphere, I can't cast another spell. They also have a Warping Whale to counter. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna force their their Ulamog, and then I can kill them with Drakes. Emrakul is not castable, right? They don't have any cards in their graveyard. Emrakul costs them 13. They're going to cast Ulabog next turn. Yeah, we're just going to win in the sky. We get my donation from Breaking Sky. Win in with Randy. One Randy victory coming up here, chat. What's going on, Jace? Well, we're currently 2-1 and one here in the, with the Omni Show deck. So I've been having a fun time. Do you realize you've been bested by Drake's opponent? Their hand is Trinisphere, Trinisphere, Ulamog, Emrakul, and then they have two cards we don't know. And I can Impulse plus cast Force of Will. I'm 
glad I have this force of will. Otherwise, we could have possibly lost Randy and his team. Randy and the squad are needed. Don't try and take them away from me. Yeah! All right. Oh, tie game. Tie game. Um, this misdirection is poop, we decided, right? That shouldn't be in my deck right now. <sighs> Echoing truth is probably what I'm wishing for every time, so bringing this last intuition in is probably reasonable. They're a good place to learn about legacy, like how to play, or am I, or am I stuck watching streamers? I don't know that there's really, like, fundamentals out there. I'm unsure. Unsure. How do we feel about boarding in trick bind? How do we feel about boarding in trick bind? I'm like, break in sky with the $20 donation. Man of the word. I appreciate it. I kind of like trick bind. It can counter Ugin. It can counter thought not see your triggers. It can counter uh, Ulamog. And just like this besage you doesn't do a lot. I guess Besage you lets me play through Chalice on three. So maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm okay with this Besage you. Let's me play through Chalice, which is nice. We had six to show and cast Emrakul. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Hug the qualifier, what's going on? No bamboozle on Brecken Sky's part. Yeah, they can reasonably put Chalice on three. They're casting Emrakul's and Ulamogs. They make six mana. They make six mana. You know what? I'm going to cut a probe, especially on the draw and bring in the trick bind. What's the Fire Mind's for? The Fire Mind's Foresight is for cutting wish kills. I have Echoing Truth in my sideboard. So gross um i wouldn't fault anyone for mulliganing this hand but like has all of our tools so it's decent against chalice on one I could play this city here, but I really don't want to get wasted off of it. No, no, the, the converted mana cost is the number printed in the corner of your magic card. God, we are so bad at drawing lands against this opponent. We are very bad at drawing. This is what happened in game one. They like had a limp dick start like this, and then we just never drew any lands. We had one land and they chaliced us and then could never do anything. It's unfortunate. They hit something here. They have seven mana. Ooh. 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 Please just keep limping along, opponent. Please keep limping along. Hopefully just show and tell an Emrakul is going to be good enough here. If anyone's wondering why I didn't cast a cantrip there, it's because there's a Trinisphere in play. My cantrips cost three. So, looking to dodge... Uh, and dodge thought not for another turn here. All right, and then looking to dodge like Caracas or things that can beat our Emrakul. Oh, yours is smaller than mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, they have an Ulamog. They got us. If they don't have an Ulamog here, we're actually probably going to win, right? All 
Now remember, I can't force anything because there's a Trinister in play. My Force of Wills cost three. Are they trying to figure out if they can get something with Ayavugan here? They only have seven mana towards Ayavugan. Because Eldrazi Temple doesn't doesn't make extra for that. So hopefully we got him. Opponent has the wrong Emrakul, right? Don't come out of the tank with something that beats me, please. Please don't come out of the tank with something that beats me. Please just be dead. Please just be dead. Sure. Here's putting permanence into play. That seems okay. Because I can... I'm going to hit them with this, and then I can cast Force of Will next turn. So trigger, and I'm at 19. So... Their Emmer Cool doesn't kill me on the backswing. I have no idea. I haven't been playing standard. How do they even win the game from here? Yeah, I learned that 15 is stronger than 13, right? They got Emmer Cool right the first time around. She's much weaker in her original form. Sweet. All right, so Talrand gets a checkbox on the scoreboard. Yeah, got the got the donation from Breck and Sky, and uh, we're three and one, so we cash the league. This takes a lot of fun. It's really pretty powerful, too. Definitely 10 out of 10 enjoying it. Hey, Hug the Quilfer with the 4-month three subscription. Thanks for re-upping. Welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. This hand's pretty good. It's got uh, some combo pieces. It's got some lands. It's got some cantrips. And it's got a force of will in case our opponent is also trying to do dirty things. Basic is land. Um, hmm. I'm going to ponder because it gives away less information. Preordain kind of screams, hey, look, I'm a combo deck. I think I want both of these. I don't need another Emrakul, but I'll take Cunning Wish Besage you at this point. Besage is probably good. They could they could be Storm. This could this could be a Storm Delta, but it's more le more than likely a I have counter spells delta. Savannah. All right, maybe this besage is not good. All right, maybe it is. Don't actually know. So I know there's an Emrakul on top of my deck. I'm gonna shuffle it away before I preordain here. It means I can't have the besage in play, but I think that's fine. They don't have any pressure out yet, so I'm probably gonna have time to wait till turn four to combo. This is kind of a red flag for my opponent, like, hey, my opponent's doing something unfair. I'm gonna take a brainstorm here, but I'm not going to cast it. Yeah, it's probably some kind of four color greed deck, you know? Like, Deathrite Shaman lets you do whatever you want in these decks. Like, there's just, there's no, there's no punishment or inconsistency for the most part. Between the powerful blue cantrips and Deathrite Shaman, you can just play for literally whatever spells you want. Um, huh. It's kind of unfortunate. I guess I, like, have two combo pieces, right? Like, I've got an Omniscience and an Emrakul here. So, do we think... 
Do we think they're a counterspell deck? Do we think I need this Besaidju? Do we think I need this Besaidju? I think I think I want to just play Besage you out here. Just pass the turn. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. The 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 Savannah is throwing me too. I'm going to brainstorm and see where we get. That's pretty fucking good. It's a pretty pretty good place to get to chat. All right, I'm gonna hide the show and tell. I'll just put this besage you into play. So if they have another discard spell, they take the omniscience or the Emmer cool. Yeah, and then next turn we can show and tell and put in Emmer cool or omniscient. They they could be a knight of the reliquary deck. So just putting in Emmer cool directly is a little bit loose. So we're hoping to dodge more discard here. Although I guess if they have a discard spell, I can just force it, right? I can force pitch, Pitching Cunning Wish. And I think I just let this happen because I don't want them to have another discard spell, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and force this Thought Seize. And then next turn we'll go show and tell omniscience, cast Ember Cool, kill you. Yeah, I, I think they're Maverick splashing. Well, Maverick doesn't have discard spells in it, right? There's some kind of weird utility deck. This is definitely, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring in the Ley Lines and probably not bring in my Counter Magic package for the next game. And if they're doing something weird, we can figure figure that out. Are we dead? Are we dead? We're dead. <laughs> All right, that's what they're doing. Got it. Check. All right. Check. Check. All right. Um, fuck. Uh... Okay, these Fluster Storms are bad. And this Besage you is probably bad. I'm gonna bring in these Ley Lines. Get memed, right? All right, yeah, I think that's the plan. I'm just gonna board those out and bingo his head. Fuck. Yeah, that was really good. All right, so. Yeah. The, the getting the Thoughtseize back was really good because if we hadn't had to use the Force there, we would have been able to Cunning Wish in order to stop the recruiter from killing us. We, di we died to Aluren, yep. We died to Aluren. They put in Aluren, and then they had Recruiter, which gets a combo and kills us. Oh, is this a keep? It's probably a keep, right? Feels bad that it doesn't have a ley line in it, but it's got two combo pieces and cantrips and lands. I'm gonna shuffle those, just looking for show and tell. It worked really well last, yes, fuck this card. And cast the discard spell. Just the death rate, all right. Yeah, those have been some rancid cantrips. Yep. 
been a while since we've seen four color alluring this deck's pretty bad it's real it's not good against delver it's not good against the control decks anymore four color control just chews it up and spits it out this deck's staying point in the format prior to the top banning was that it was pretty reasonable against counterbalance since his dividing top miracles and with that deck mostly being pushed out of the format without the sensei's divine top like it still exists but it's not popular like it once was so i like debating on taking my cantrip and leaving me stranded yep okay here's to here's hoping we just rip a thing and kill them although unless they have more discard no nope. here's hoping we rip a thing and kill them Veteran Explorer. All right. It's kind of interesting that they left that card in against us because, like, there are so many basics in our deck. All right. Well, we're going to throw those ones back. I'm going to grab my Valk here since they have a Veteran Explorer in play. God, these cantrips have been fucking terrible. It's, like, comically bad. Stop there so I don't move past it by mistake. So if they don't have more disruption and we hit a show and tell, we do have Cunning Wish to stop them from combo killing us, hopefully. If they have a Lurin plus Recruiter again, which is nice. Our clock isn't super fast. I guess it's four turns, so we have some time to hit... Hit draws and redraws here. What kind of tag? It's like a shardless agent here. I just recasting the strike, sure. Yeah, casual language is fine. Hey, Traxum, with the 18-month resubscription. Thanks a lot. Welcome back, buddy. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I guess this Cunning Wish is getting... This Cunning Wish is getting Intuition, and then we're hoping to draw land. We're actually dead next turn, right? So we need to we need to hit a land or a show until naturally. Oh, is cunning wish for breach good enough? That's an interesting question. I don't actually know. It's probably not, right? Hmm. It's probably not. They get to drain me and lose six things. I guess I could just get Kozilek's return. Is getting Kozilek's return unreasonable? How do we like that? They get to keep their Cavern Harpy, but they lose everything else? I didn't even think of that. do that buys us a lot of time we can still just rip show and tell too that'll do pig hey amp fill some bits thank you very much i appreciate that And remember, I have these Force of Wills that I can cast on a Recruiter if they have one here. So they need two Recruiters. Reclamation Sage. Stop it.
Sweet. All right. All right, so we have a third game. I wasn't expecting to get a third game there. It's a good rip. Um, I don't think I want to change anything. I think the ley lines are good. No, I wanted to save the return for the sequencing like we had there because they had the harpy in play. I wanted to save it for the sequencing like we did. I think I'm happy with the ley lines. That's like the one decision point, right? Am I happy with the ley lines, basically? And I think I am. This hand's so close. This has to be a keep, right? I could just draw straight combo pieces, but like this hand just does actual everything. If we draw some lands. This hand is so bad against Cabal Therapy and a ghost. Oh, God bless they're not ghosting. God bless us, everyone. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. They named uh, Brainstorm. They don't have a land. That's good for us. Right on, right on time. All righty. I assume they have a third discard spell or a creature here. Whoa, they have nothing. All right, well that's good for us. Wow, talk about bricks. Um, I probably just want the intuition, right? Just try and draw the land naturally. Although any creature is bad for us, I'm just gonna take the intuition. Intuition helps us beat um, them having something in response to our show until here. Force is an okay draw too. It's not a land, but like those was an okay hit. We got lucky and hit the second land, so not hitting the third right away is whatever. So this is getting a veteran explorer, right? Do I care about a veteran explorer? I probably do. I kind of want two lands though, for being honest. This is probably gonna let them cast another creature though. I don't know, this is close. God, this hand would have been unbeatable if we'd had a ley line in the opener. I'm aware they have a Cabal in the yard. It's a shame we don't have one more land. He can't just hard cast this for us. Huh. It's a really good line, Rogue. It's a really good line. The problem is I have to hide the Emrakul. The problem is I have to hide the Emrakul, because if they name Emrakul, they can just shuffle my deck. Part of me wants to force this. Another part of me is just expecting to get Cabal Therapy again here. No, I'm planning to play one more Legacy League to close out the night. We're doing a Legacy Night. We'll probably play Modern tomorrow night. I like to try and stick to one format per evening, per session. Let's look at my deck. Wish this ley line was a fluster storm. So maybe I boarded wrong. I don't know. That's so close. Probably like their mono discard. 
this ley line was a fluster store, my life would be fucking easy. They had death rate, they could have cast it. Yeah, that's true. They also could have had... Yeah, huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna force. I'm just gonna force. Oh, they also could have drawn something for the turn, right? They could have another green sun. They could have another green sun. Yeah, yeah, I cited out uh, three Fluster Storms and a Besage you for the Ley Lines. Really need to just hit a land on that Intuition or the Draw Step After. And maybe I should have taken the Ponder. Forced back. Wow, that's bad for us. Okay. Well, as you will. I assume I'm losing show and tell here. Yeah. And actually down, I pitched a show and tell to a force earlier, so there's actually only two show and tells left in my deck. I wonder if I was supposed to board in. I wonder if I was supposed to board in uh a regular expression with the 313 subscription. Thanks a lot. Welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. I'm not supposed to auto board in Talrand. It's another threat. We're probably just dead here at this point. The Sylvan Library just goes to town. It's going to let them draw like four extra cards. I just can't win. Yep. Good game's opponent. Maybe my keep was sketchy. So like my keep at the beginning there was a little bit medium and you could you could maybe argue that if my hand is close to being bad and it doesn't have a ley line in it and I've boarded four ley lines into my deck, I should just mulligan automatically. And I think um, I think that's just like a good a good way to to approach it, right? Like um if you if your hand is medium and you have a card that you're going to get rewarded for having in your opening hand you should automatically mulligan the close hand if it doesn't have that card because like the way my opponent's hand lined up that game is if they they had double cabal therapy and like i mulligan to like you know just a medium six with a ley line like their hands just their decks just completely shut out of the game right with what they what they ended up keeping so i think i think i should have mulliganed that seven um, I don't know. I kind of like this deck. I don't. I don't know if this. I think this misdirection is probably poop. I don't know. We didn't really do anything. I think I'd like to just put another cantrip in the deck. It could be maybe a third intuition or a third impulse, perhaps. Um, but the odds are of having a four of. I can tell you. I can tell you. So hyper geometric calculator. In a 60 card deck, you have four A C unit one two three one two three with the two month three subscription. All hey Dale of the mighty Kiki God, please bestow me your knowledge. Thanks for re-upping that Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. All right, so you are 39.9% uh, to have your four of in your seven card opener, and you are 35% to have your four of in your um, six card, six card hand, which means if you mulligan your seven, like before you start the game thinking, okay, I'm going to mulligan to six. If I don't have my card, it's a point, uh, point six to not have it times point six five to not have it again. So you're, um, 61% to have a ley line in your opening hand between six and seven, which is a pretty good shot. It's a pretty good shot. Like, having four ley lines in your deck is not not negligible. I think I was happy with the ley lines in the board. I think that plan's pretty clean. Or, like, when you don't want anti-counter magic, you just get to cut these three fluster storms and this besage you and bring in these these three these four ley lines. Um, I don't know if this through the breach in the board is good. Uh, I would have to play more matches to figure that out. The Kozilix return was fantastic um, mul multiple times. So I, I kind of like... I kind of like the just Google hyper geometric distribution calculator. Actually, I have a thing. Hyper geo. Look at that. There's a YouTube video that has me explaining how to use that calculator to do computations like that, especially with regards to mana bases. 
Um, so yeah, so the Kozilex Return was great. I think the Abrade's great in theory. So I think I would play the Volks again. They're pretty minimal cost, I think. But if you're looking for kind of a sweet combo deck to play in Legacy, I think uh, I like this deck a lot. I'm not a big fan of like Storm style decks, but this deck feels like you know, it's maybe maybe a little bit more consistent and powerful than those. I like the fact that you're just like a one-two combo deck rather than trying to be like this critical mass combo deck. I think I would, the only change I would make to this list before I was playing it, I'd cut that misdirection. Just, I think I'd just play a third impulse. Impulse has been pretty reasonable. I think I'd, I think I'd just do that, just like have another cantrip in my deck. Intuition's a little expensive, so I don't think I want a third copy of Intuition. I think I'd rather just have have another impulse. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing next? 